Hello students, standard 7 in physics, revision of the chapter 15 light is going on. In last few sessions, we discussed about some blanks, short answer questions, etc. Also, we discussed some other questions. Today we are going to discuss about more some of the questions and you will write down the answers on your own. The first question of today is write points of differences between real image and virtual image. We know that there are two types of images, real images and virtual images. So the point can be that uh, when the image can be obtained on a screen, it is known as a real image. And on the other side, the image that cannot be obtained on a screen is known as virtual image. So there is the first point of difference between real image and virtual image. So real image can be obtained on a screen, virtual image cannot obtain on the screen but it is either in the mirror or behind the lens or the mirror. Second point of difference. Real image is always inverted. Real image is always inverted while the virtual image is erect. So that is the point, second point of the difference between real image and virtual image. So now I hope that is clear in your mind. You can add another also that real image can be obtained by convex lens or concave mirror. And the virtual image is always obtained by the plane mirror or the convex mirror and concave lens. Now moving to the next question. Why is convex lens called converging lens and concave lens called diverging lens? When we are talking about that uh, lenses, we saw that the, conver uh, the convex lens is known as converging lens. Why? Because we saw that when the ray of light parallel passing through the convex lens, then it converges, means bends it internally. And all the points, all the rays are converging at a point. Means it bend internally. So therefore, the convex lens is known as the converging lens. But in case of the concave lens, we saw that in concave lens, the rays are bending outwards, it going outwards. Therefore, it is diverting that all rays and therefore, this concave lens is known as 
diverging lens. So it bends them internally, it bends them outwards. So that's why the convex lens is known as the converging lens while the other I means the concave lens is known as the diverging lens. Next question is how will you so that light travels in a straight line? Here you can use any one of these activities. I will explain you both the activities one by one. First activity that uh, you have to take a pipe plastic pipe or a any pipe like that which is very straight you can use rubber pipe also now light a candle and put it on the table and then from the pipe keeping straight try to see the flame of the candle through it then you can see that you will be able to see that flame of the candle now bend the pipe a little and try to see the flame again from that pipe you won't be able to see the flame why in the first situation the pipe was straight and the rays of light beam of light coming from the flame travels straight in a straight path and therefore directly it reaches our eye and then we can see that flame but when we bend that uh, pipe a little then what will happen the light rays entering the pipe but as they cannot bend we won't be able to see that uh, flame of the candle when the pipe is bent so by this way by from this activity we can conclude that the light travels on a straight path now as i told you the second activity for that we need three cardboards of the same size we need three cardboards of the same size and in the middle of all the cardboards make a circular little bigger hole like that i am showing you in the figure take three pieces of cardboards of the same size and in the middle of them make a hole like that and place them vertically on the table such that they stand in a same straight line and light a candle and put behind the last cardboard such that the flame of the candle is at the height of that hole that are made in it like that the flame should be like that so that the light travels through it and if you see from the here if your eyes is here you can see the flame clearly why because in this situation all the three cardboards are in the same straight line and therefore light can travels directly 
Now what we have to do? We have to move the middle carbo little on one side, not more. Little on one side. Then what will happen? The light will travel through the first hole, but then that hole is moved. Second one in the middle one. So in this situation, the light rays will not bend and enter the second hole. And therefore, you won't be able to see the flame of the candle through that hole of the first cardboard. So by this way also, you can conclude that the light travels in a straight line. So you can write any of these activities to show that it like the travels in a straight line. Next, with the help of activity, explain the lateral inversion of image formed by plane mirror. What is lateral inversion? We know that when we see the image in a plane mirror, then the left side of the object seems to be right side in the image and the right side of the object seems to be left side in the image. For that, what we can do? We can stand in front of a mirror. And then look your image in the mirror. Then try to raise your any one of them like the left hand. Then check in the image. It looks like that the right hand of the image is raised. Then try to raise your right hand and look at your image then you will see that it seems like that the left hand of the image is raised this shows that the images are laterally inverted in the plane mirror next question so that seven colors are mixed together then white color is formed with the help of activity here we have to make a Newton's disk for that we need a circular piece of cardboard about 4 to 5 centimeter radius and then we have to make 7 equal parts of that disc you can use the discarded CDs also that size will be perfect size and you can use the cardboard also and on the cardboard cover it with a white paper and divide that part into seven equal size and then color each part in sequence with the rainbow colors v v g r v i b g y o r in a sequence then in the middle of the cardboard make a small hole such that you can use the refill so that it can rotate freely on it or you can make a precise hole such that a pencil can be passed through it then when you move that disc very speedily then you will see that all the colors will mix together then you won't be able to see all the seven colors separately but 
you will see that only the white color will appear if you move it not so fast then you will be able to see the colors only but when it moves very fast then all the colors will mixed with each other and the white color only will be visible so that is the way next question we will talk about explain dispersion of light with prism now we know that prism is made up of glass it has two triangular sides and other three are the rectangle it is made from the glass transparent glass so when the white light of the sun or any other white light falls on it then it splits that white light into its original seven colors that is v i b g y o r and this phenomena phenomena of splitting the white light into its seven colors is known as the dispersion of light so if you put a, a screen behind that uh, prism then you will be able to see the different seven colors on that screen and that strip of the colors is also known as the spectrum spectrum of seven colors so that process is known as the phenomena of splitting the white light into its seven colors is known as the dispersion of light so here almost all important questions are done so we are going to finish the revision of this chapter and i will give this questions in the pdf so you can write down the answers on your own and any confusion there is comment section or you can see the previous videos also because everything is explained in the videos but still you have difficulty you can write down in the comment section thank you very much